You're watching Dangerous Dogs. Dangerous Dogs! Dangerous Dogs. Check one, two, your shoot in, can I get over and post it on the corner with my big dog, the real dog, Eric. And what you're doing right now, you're tuning in to Dangerous Dog. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and all the above. Dangerous Dog Way. Hello Cleveland Brown fans and you are watching Dangerous Dogs and I am your host Eric Breach. It's September 22nd 2019 and the LA Rams are playing the Cleveland Browns on Sunday Night Football. The first time the Browns have been on Sunday Night Football since 2008. The Browns are 1-1 one one coming off a Monday Night Football win against the Jets winning 23-3. In the rematch of the NFC Championship game last year, the Rams beat the Saints to give them a 2-0 record. The defending NFC champions are led by Sean McVay, who many consider a football genius. They are led by starting quarterback Jared Goff, but that's not it. This team is stacked. They have all-pro running back Ty Gurley. At receiver, they have Brandon Cooks and Cooper Cup. On the defensive side of the ball, they have back-to-back -back defensive player of the year, Aaron Donald, who many think will go down as an all-time great. They had Talib and Peters at the corners and over the offseason they signed Eric Weddle and Clay Matthews Jr. I would not be surprised if the Rams win the NFC again this year. I think this is going to be one heck of a challenge for the Browns tonight, especially since they're missing a lot of starters on the defensive side of the ball because of injuries. But let's go have some fun and pull up in the Muni lot. You're watching Dangerous Dogs. Here we go, Brownies. Here we go. Hoo, hoo. 
be a scout for dangerous dogs, baby. We're going to win the prize game tonight, baby. No f***ing the Rams. Watch the dangerous dogs. Here we go, brownies. Here we go. Let's go, baby. All day, dog pound. Give me a prediction. 27-14, Cleveland. Five touchdowns. Nick Chubb will get two or three. I don't know. And uh, we're gonna beat. Uh, we're gonna beat LA. What? What would you say? 72 to 13. Sounds about right. Yep. Sounds about right. Watch the dangerous dogs. Watch them dangerous dogs. Brown's gonna come out with the defense. Garrett. Defense. Silver's gonna have a big game. Big game. Dangerous dogs. Rams get low around 37 to get out from downtown. Please. It's September 22nd, 2019. The LA Rams are taking on the Cleveland Browns on Sunday Night Football. The Rams won the coin toss but deferred to kick off to the Browns. On the first play of the game, Mayfield hit Jarvis Landry for 10 yards. Then the teams would trade punts. Clay Matthews Jr. looks on as his father, Clay Matthews, who played linebacker for the Browns in the 80s and 90s, was inducted into the Browns' ring of honor. were missing a lot of their starters on defense, but they look pretty good, as All-Pro Ty Gurley was stuffed by Larry Ogunjobi. LA hit the field goal to make it 3-0, and the Browns got the ball back and started driving, as Baker found OBJ for 12 yards, then he found Ratley for this 5-yard pass, and Austin Siebert nailed this 23-yard field goal. The Rams tried to take the lead, but Greg Zerline hooked this 48-yard field goal to the right to get the Browns the ball back, and they punted. So the Rams got the ball back, trying to take the lead before the half. And Miles Garrett comes in and strips Jared Goff of the ball as Joe Schobert recovers the ball and returns it for 21 yards to the LA 17-yard line. And this gave the Browns a chance to score before the half. And Austin Siebert made this 35-yard field goal to get the Browns a 6-3 lead at the half. The Rams wasted no time coming out the half as Jared Goff connects with Cooper Cup on this 11-yard touchdown pass to make it a 10-6 game. So the Browns got the ball back and faced 3rd and 13. Then they converted it on his 30-yard reception to Nick Chubb which led to this two-yard touchdown pass from Baker Mayfield to Demetrius Harris to get the Browns a 13-10 lead. In the middle of the fourth quarter, Jared Goff hit Cooper Cup for his second touchdown pass of the game. And the Rams took a 17-13 lead. Now it was the Browns' turn. Baker scrambles out the pocket and finds OBJ for 19 yards. It was 4th and 9 at the LA 40, and head coach Freddie Kitchens decided to go for it. But instead of passing, 
they ran this draw play to Nick Chubb. Well, the Rams capitalized on the Browns' mistake with this 37-yard field goal by Greg Zerline to get the Rams a seven-point lead. The Browns had to score a touchdown, but Mayfield was sat by the right and bat-to-bat defensive player of the year, Aaron Donald. Then two plays later, Clay Matthews Jr. gets Baker, and the Browns had to punt. The Rams were trying to put this game out of reach until Justin Burris intercepted this Jared Goff pass. Just 48 hours before kickoff, Burris wasn't even signed to a team. The Browns had one last shot to take the game into overtime. Baker hit Landry right here for 27 yards up the middle. Then he connected to Ratley for 16 yards to get the ball to the nine yard line. So the Browns had four plays to score a touchdown. This his first one got tipped. Then he missed Landry in the end zone. This third down pass hit the crossbar which was intended toward Harris. Fourth and goal down to one last play. Baker had no time and had to throw the ball and was intercepted by Johnson in the end zone to get the Rams a 20 to 13 victory over the Cleveland Browns. Man, that was a hard win. As the Rams defeated the Browns 20 to 13 at First Energy Stadium. The Browns fall to one and two, and the Rams go to three and out. The Rams had 344 total yards, 254 in the air, and 90 on the ground. While the Browns had 270 total yards, 175 passing, and 95 rushing. The Rams had 20 first downs to the Browns 18. They were six of 14 on third down, while the Browns were six of 16. The Browns did win the time of possession battle, 31 minutes and 37 seconds to the Rams, 28 minutes and 23 seconds. They also had three takeaways to the Rams, one. The Rams had seven penalties for 49 yards, and the Browns had eight penalties for 60 yards. Jared Goff won 24 to 38 for 268 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. Ty Gurley had 14 carries for 43 yards. Brandon Cooks and Cooper Cup both had over 100 yards in receiving, while Cup had two touchdowns. Baker Mayfield went 18 36 for 195 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. Nick Chubb had 23 carries for 96 yards. Jarvis Landry led the team with 62 receiving yards, and Odell Beckham led the team in receptions with six. Both of them targeted nine times. Even though we lost, I think we looked better than we did the past two weeks against Tennessee and the Jets. Remember, the defense was missing a lot of starters due to injury. Also, there were quite a few questionable play calls, like going on fourth and nine and running the draw, or being close to the goal line and having four plays and not run it not one time. But you know what? It's not going to be easy. I'm not going to press the panic button just yet. There are going to be some growing pains. And remember who we played, the NFC champions. The Rams are no joke this year. Next Sunday, we play the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore. And yes, I'm going to say this is an important game. It's the first division game, but it's either we tie for first place or we fall back two games for first place. So yes, I consider this a must-win game for the Browns. Thank you for watching Dangerous Dogs. I'm your host, Eric Breach. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube page, Dangerous Dogs. And please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under Dangerous Dogs.